Hey there, I'm the Mad Catster. Am I glad to see you here? Well, this is not going to be a big long tea video. It's going to be a short video, but Ethan Klein threw me some serious shade in his upload from yesterday from his vlog that he does. And I kind of want to address it because it kind of bothered me a little bit. So buckle up and let's go. This is just mad cat stir. Yeah, this is the end of the Ace Family. New York lawsuit might change everything. An hour? I know for sure there's not an hour worth of content in here, you guys. Well, let's just take a look. I'm just curious. What is it? Hey there, I'm the mad cat stir. Am I glad to see you here? Well, we all know the Ace volume? Family. Is that volume? A couple of years ago in 2021 when it started. It hasn't been talked about in a while and it's a pretty big one. What in the Because he's sitting in front of. This man has some like Rembrandt that's like 30 feet tall behind him. Can we talk about that painting behind you, dude? It also looks like an original because you can kind of see the texture on the canvas. And it could potentially end the Ace Family as we know it. I've got the deets and I've got the receipts. So buckle up and let's go. We got the deets and the receipts. Boy, that ain't look like you. I, come on, bro. You're like 50 plus. This man does not even resemble you in the your slightest. To grow. So, I mean, like, dude, come on now. You don't even have a brown hair on your head. We'd really appreciate your help to grow. Like Let's it. talk about this major. Ma I do have advice, though. This video is too long. I'll just tell you straight up. Oh, great. The top comment is more long videos like this. Brittany, you, you're not doing him any help. This man does not need to be making hour long videos. I have a transcript that I thought was pretty hysterical. Transcript sounds interesting. I like that. Can we just skip? Okay, go Let's ahead. Start off by looking at who is doing these. Yeah, I make four hour long podcasts. I know, but I've got like a staff. I've got all kinds of different topics. This man is one shot, one take talking about, dude, come on, y'all know this is too long. I'm trying to get some tea here, not like get in bed for the night. Now, who they're suing is not the Ace Family, Austin and Catherine. They're suing Ace Hat Collection, which is the company. We know that's their company, Ace Hat Collection. That That is Austin's company that he does all of his little schemes through. Incorporated in California. And this basically is like the company that is the parent of all of the Ace Family's YouTube activities and stuff like that. This guy knows his stuff. There. The courts have held that parties are free to... <laughs> All right, let's cut to the chase, Catster. It gets to the... Okay, I'm just gonna let it play, you guys. Go yeah, dude, I mean, seriously. Uh, listen, Catster, I love you and, and I'm happy for you or sorry that happened or whatever, but let's do some kinetic, kinetic sand ASMR. Just, I mean, no offense, bro. So, first of all... I'm here tonight with Amelie, who is my oldest cat, and she says hello, and she says please like and subscribe. Amelie is really ancient. All right, so Ethan Klein, I consider him, I mean, I don't consider him a friend because I don't know him, but I do consider him sort of as an ally, and he's been kind and gracious enough to include clips of my some of my videos on his show a few times, and... Actually, a lot of people have used clips of my videos on their channels, and I really appreciate it because, you know, I'm a small channel. I've got less than 19,000 subscribers, and I've been growing slow but steady, and I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I work 40-plus hours a week as an attorney. I'm in court almost every day. I was in court this morning. I'm exhausted, and I still try to find the time to make a at least a couple of videos a week. So... I was really thrilled when I saw that Ethan Klein on his vlog was covering my last video about the Ace Family. It's an hour long, and yes, it's long. I know it's long, but we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so I was really excited because I love it when I get exposure, obviously, because more people learn about my channel. So I was a little disappointed, okay? So I watched Ethan's broadcast, and... You know, he was seemed to be a little perturbed with the fact that I made an hour long video and he was bitching about the fact that it was an hour long and how it didn't need to be an hour long and how there wasn't an hour long worth of content. Of course, he wouldn't know that because he didn't watch the video and he started to show my video. And, you know, he as he's talking about how long it is, he's talking about the fact that, well, you know, he's got a staff and I'm just one person and, you know, I don't, you know, I, you know, how do I have time or something like that to make hour long videos? Well, first of all, Ethan, I never make hour long videos. This was the very first time I ever did. All of my videos are in very manageable amounts of time. In fact, I've had so many people say to me, please make a longer video, please do a deeper dive. So, this particular lawsuit that the Ace family is fighting in New York, I thought merited, and actually, I took I edited out a half an hour's worth of content because I wanted to pare it down. And, you know, it's actually one of the highest rated videos that I've made. So clearly a lot of people don't agree with you. And in fact, I think I got more views on that video than you did on your upload of your vlog. Okay, so there. And I'm not a huge behemoth of a channel and conglomerate like you are. Okay, so him complaining about the length of the video wasn't what bothered me. What bothered me was that he, you know, 
commented on my age several times. And yes, Ethan, I'm over 50. You're not exactly a spring chicken, but I do have brown hair. Ethan, if you could see, yes, it's thinning. And yes, I'm gray on the sides, but I do have brown hair. And yes, I agree that animation at the beginning of my videos doesn't look like me. And if I wanted it to be more realistic, I would just put a video of me, okay, instead of an animation. All right, but that's neither here nor there. But what really bothered me, okay, now I want to preface this by saying all of the things that people have said about Ethan Klein, all of the negativity, all of the times people try to cancel him, which is like every other week, I have never ever said a bad thing about Ethan Klein, I don't believe. And, you know, a lot of people, most people know that I'm gay. And when Ethan and Dan were getting hammered for that podcast last year where they made some comments and people wanted to interpret as being homophobic, I didn't jump on the bandwagon. I, I've never, you know, I, I like Ethan. I believe he's a good person. And by the way, Ethan, we have the same birthday, June 24th, so you should be nicer to a fellow Cancerian. But what bothered me was not what he said, but the fact that he really didn't show the video. He showed a little bit, and he showered a lot of negativity on it. I'd rather he not have covered it and not have mentioned it, because people who don't know me or know my channel are going to see him saying those things and think, oh, Mad Catster, his videos are boring or his videos are too long. But I'm pretty thick skinned. So the personal comments, you know, I really don't care. And yes, this is a real painting, Ethan. But if you knew how much I paid for it, you'd spit your soda out because it was so freaking cheap. It's ridiculous. OK, but I think it makes a good backdrop. Anyways, I was bullied all through school. I can take some shade okay that's not what bothers me what bothered me is as a small creator as somebody who doesn't do this full-time and who works a full-time job and is trying to grow this channel and you know we've been it's been steady and slow over the last year and a half but we you know we are growing and anyone who watched your upload is now, who doesn't know me and doesn't know my channel, is now thinking, oh, Mad Catster, I'm not going to watch his videos. They're boring. They're long. He's old. You know, and all the, what it, all the other things that you said. And that's what bothers me. Because I'm trying to grow. And I appreciate, don't get me wrong, I appreciate so much the few times that you've talked about my videos or shown clips of me on your show. I really, really appreciate that. That's very helpful. But like I said, the thing that bothers me is please don't throw shade at my videos. You know, I'm working so hard. And like you said, I mean, do you know how long it took me as one person to edit that damn video? I spent at least seven or eight hours editing that video, you know, and I have to work during the day. So, you know, to hear you basically trash my hard work and my research like that, that was hurtful. Okay, the personal comments I don't give a crap about. But for you to trash my video, that hurt me. Because now, like I said, people who see your upload, who don't know me, have never watched one of my videos, is going to think, eh, don't bother. Mad Catster's channel is boring. His videos are long and dull. And if Ethan can't managed to even watch one why should i bother so please don't throw shade at my channel you know i've always stuck by you through all of the nastiness and negativity you know because i know you're a good person but i if you want to help me awesome i i really appreciate it that is so great because maybe someday i will be able to do this full time but in the interim if you're going to cover one of my videos and trash it please don't okay I love you, Ethan, but you guys, and you guys, please, by for the love of God, do not throw hate or shade at Ethan, okay? I'm not Michaela Nogueira with a herd of flying monkeys sending people to wrongly get people banned from TikTok because they're abusing the system. I'm not that person. Don't send him any negativity. Please don't leave any comments. 
this is something that I just wanted to address. I'm over it. I'm going to continue to go forward and make videos. You guys are awesome. All of you who are watching this, I know you watch my channel, so I know I don't have to explain to you what I do, but I really appreciate your support. I love all of you guys so much. You guys take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. Party, please. Subscribe, like, and hit the bell. I get a treat for every new sub. Thank you.